Hi, it might be a really good time to um, go over what National Test and Trace and our own local incident response team and local Test and Trace do. I know there's been lots of activity lately and actually a few questions that have come my way. So I thought it'd be a great time to kind of review what that Test and Trace does. So if you are flagged as a positive case, so you've had your test, um, you know you've had your symptoms or whatever reason you might have had your test, um, which might vary these days depending on, on where you work um, or um, your critical service. Um, if you're identified as a positive case, um, you'll be notified. Um, the Isles of Scilly Incident Response Team will be notified and Public Health will be notified. So those, those who need to know in order to support you and the contact tracing will know. Um, if you're contacted, you need to stay home and self-isolate for your 10 days and your, your notification either by, e by email or by text message will let you know how long you need to isolate for. But if you've got any questions about that, you can always get in touch with Keep Silly Safe and we'll help walk you through that. Your household also needs to isolate. You'll be asked by National Test and Trace, people also call it NTAT, so if I say that, that's what I mean. Um, you'll be also asked by NTAT to provide your close contacts, and that's by um, text or email, and, and also depending on if it's a critical service, you might get a phone call as well. Um, so that's National Test and Trace, but locally, the incident response team may be in touch to do a bit of contact tracing with you. It's a bit more personal. National Test and Trace kind of asks you to, to think about who you've been in touch with, but we sort of kind of pull it out of you very gently by asking some very, very detailed questions in order to understand where you've been, who you might have bumped into, and where the risk of transmission is. Um, and the other purpose to uh, the incident response team to get in touch is actually to help support you with your self-isolation, see if you need anything, um, offer any support and, and signposting to, to any support that there may be available for you as well. So it's, it's about your well-being in addition to getting those contacts. Um, in addition, your GP is likely to be in touch with you as well, so don't be surprised if, if that happens. Um, your GP will be checking on your well-being and you'll be able to ask them um, any questions about your health and well-being um, at that point as well. And also contact your GP if you ever feel like you, you want some more information on your own health, if you feel like your symptoms are getting worse. Um, and again, call 999 if it's an emergency. So National Test and Trace will get in touch. Um, if you or I contact, you will get that email or text message as a contact telling you to isolate for seven days from the date of exposure. And they won't tell you who it was, neither will we. We won't be disclosing that information unless there's a genuine, very urgent public health reason to do so, which would be very, very unlikely. But you'll be advised to isolate. And it may not necessarily be 10 days from the date you're notified. It will be 10 days from the date of exposure. Um, and I think that might have been a little bit confusing to some people recently. Um, I also had some feedback that, um, because it's, it's really uncommon for people from Isles of Scilly to get those notifications, that they thought it might be a hoax, they weren't sure if it was real. If you're not sure, stay home and self-isolate, and then get in touch with Keep Silly Safe, because we'll, we'll be able to let you know, um, because we, we would know if it, it was a genuine um, notification or not, so it's really important that you follow it, um, and then we can verify with you if that's the case. And again, if you've got any worries or concerns as a contact of a case, get in touch with us at Keep Silly Safe. We've got a dedicated response team to help answer your questions and help get you through that isolation period. 10 days of isolation is no fun. Uh, it does mean stay at home, don't leave for any reason except in an emergency, um, and, and making sure that when you're in your household um, with your other household members that you're genuinely giving each other space, um, and but they you know, although, you know, you don't all have to be isolating as a contact, but give those people space because the whole point is that you could go on to develop symptoms um, and the disease and we, we want to limit that spread of the virus as well. Um, and that's it. But if any other questions or concerns pop up, let us know at Keep Silly Safe and we're happy to answer those questions for you. Thank you.